we're still looking at these complex numbers. They can be written in three forms, either rectangular, polar, or exponential. We're going to work two problems. The first one, we're going to be given a complex number in polar form, and they want us to rewrite the number in rectangular form, and they say type an exact answer. So here is this complex number in polar form. Of course, since they're asking for an exact number, we're expecting a special angle, which we in fact do have. So if you recall, in polar form, that's going to be R, and these angles are, of course, the same, and they're theta. Now, to go to rectangular, if you remember, when we did polar coordinates, x is going to be r cosine theta, and y is r times sine theta. Now, as a sanity check, I'm going to go and graph this point. So when I do this, I'm going to make sure I didn't make any mistakes. So 5 pi over 3 is down here. If we call this distance 10. So I should be down here in the fourth quadrant. Now the good thing is I don't have to think too much. I can just grab, well, I was going to say grab my calculator, but I'm not going to grab my calculator because these are special angles. So R 10 times cosine of 5 pi over 3, 10 times the sine of 5 pi over 3. So it's 10 cosine of 5 pi over 3 is actually 1 half. And the sine of 5 pi over 3 is negative square root of 3 over 2. So 10 times a half is 5. 10 times negative square root of 3 over 2 is negative 5 square root of 3. So now this complex number of tangular form is just going to be 5 minus 5 square root of 3i. That is not bad. Here's another problem. They give you the initial complex number in exponential form. So 3e to the i times pi over 18. Now I notice the instructions of this one, they say do not round until the final answer, then round to three decimal places. So that's a hint that this is not going to be a special angle. Now the exponential form is this. So you can see r is 3. You can see the angle is pi over 18. Definitely not a special angle. So that's why I'm, on this one we're going to use our calculator <clears throat> and they want us to round to three decimal places. So since r is 3 and theta is pi over 18, x is r cosine of theta, y is r times sine of theta. So this is one way. Definitely going to grab your calculator. Make sure calculator's in the radian mode. Mine's in degrees, there's radians. Pi divided by 18 equals cosine times 3. 2.954, it looks like the 4 does not get rounded. And then for y, pi divided by 18 equals the sine times 3 equals all right 
Oh, you know what? I didn't graph this. I was looking up here and I was thinking, like, wow. Power over 18, obviously it's probably right about here somewhere. So this is a distance of three and that's pi over 18. So it looks like I'm in the first quadrant. All right, that makes me feel better. So this would be 0.521 it looks like. So in rectangular coordinates, it's gonna be 2.954 plus 0.521i. All right. Wow. Not difficult at all.